What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness pulling this old dead tree down with a 1989 187,000 mile motor never been touched Jeep Cherokee Laredo. Four wheel drive, had it for years and pulled tons of trailers with it. Doesn't have a whole lot of horse horsepower or really not much torque, but it's good for around the farm jobs like this and pulling a trailer every now and then. But wanted to talk to you guys about other than lifting. I tell you, I've got a fitness channel, but I've also got a cooking channel, a clothing channel, and a hot rod channel. I'll put those uh, links in the description box. You guys go check it out because without being well-rounded, of going out and shooting at the range or fishing at the pond or, or hanging out with your hot rod friends or doing whatever besides just fitness, you kind of get stagnant. Now, that's what I want to talk about. You'll see the logs being burned in the fire and the trailer full of leaves and whatnot. And it may be peaceful to you, it may be scary to you, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about safety before we close the video. But I just want to say, I have a lot of followers and I get tons of messages on a weekly basis. I say daily, I get four or five or six a day. Uh, sometimes they're you know, really on point and sometimes they're off point. And I'll try to answer as many of them as I can. But the bottom line to this video is, first off, I wanted you to see that little old Jeep pulling that log and tree down. I wanted you to see the peaceful fire. And I wanted you to see and know and realize that if you don't follow me on Instagram, a lot of you, I wish you would. There's there's a lot of rounded, well-rounded stuff on there. Again, fishing, drinking, hot rods, hanging out with my kids, my grandson, uh, family-oriented stuff, as well as lifting. Uh, but make sure that you understand there's a lot of people out there that are posting tr trying to learn how to love myself again or I'm trying to heal or I've got problems and issues that I'm working through. It's all in the mind. Obviously, there's some people that need medication and regulation and uh, there are some problems out there. But 90% of the people, and I don't want to even quote numbers, there's a lot of people that start to play into um, what they're reading or what they're seeing on television or what they're seeing the, the people that they look up to say and there's really not as big of a problem as you guys and gals think you have. You know, I was born in the 60s. There was no such thing as we didn't have a TV. We had a radio. There was no such thing as phones back then uh, until we had a landline on a wall. And we got up in the morning. We went outside and worked in the sun and, you know, did fences and hay and cows and chickens and pigs and goats. And then came back in and had lunch, worked out again, came back and had dinner and went to bed. Go to school during the day, play some football if you could. But... There was so much more hard work involved back then and less media and stuff coming at us that we really didn't have time and we didn't have the exposure to what you kids and what you grown-ups are seeing now and letting your mind wonder. That's the biggest problem. You let your mind wonder, am I okay? What's wrong with me? I think there's something wrong with me. I think I have a disease or a sickness. Oh, this person's making fun of me. If you would not, and I know this is so cliche to say this, but stop worrying about what everybody else is saying and thinking about you. Just do your own thing. The people that have nine to five jobs and families and taking Susie to soccer practice and Johnny to football practice and punch the clock and bring the bread home, feed the families, go to bed, and they say, oh, my life is so boring. Bullshoot. I'm telling you right now, you have a much better life than some of these Insta-famers and social media personalities and influencers, is now what they're calling them, have. You have a bunch better life because you have a retirement account, you have uh, medical insurance, you have uh, 401ks, you have uh, IRAs, you have the chance to take a vacation while you get paid, take your family with you. And a lot of these people are single or if they have boyfriends or girlfriends, they're going back and forth between different relationships, don't have anyone to go home to. Sometimes they still live at home with their parents, but the average person, and when I say average, I mean the person that actually pays their taxes and goes to work and provides for the family, have it a lot better off than a lot of what these superstar Insta-famous people are doing. Now, there are people like my workout partner, Ronnie Coleman, Dorian Yates, you know, people that are world champions that have it all together. I mean, and they're on Instagram and whatnot. But the people that haven't won anything and they're IFBB pros or they don't have families or they don't have regular jobs and they're fishing from, you know, pocket uh, payday to payday and trying to make the bills meet, but they're driving a fancier car and they can't afford the insurance for it. There's a lot to be said about the average person that actually does something for a living and has a family and pays their bills and has a retirement account set up and takes vacation. So the the bottom line, I know I'm running around circles here, but bear with me. The bottom line to this video is to understand I am one of those people that uh, has businesses, okay? I'm very financially stable. I do have a family. I do take care of my, my business. You know, I do travel a lot and I talk a lot, but I've retired from two different companies, major companies. You know, I've retired from the military and I've retired from the government. 
And now I have three other companies that I'm working and running and owning. With that being said, again, do not fall prey to someone that doesn't have any money or a house or a retirement account or any kind of financial savings for tomorrow that drives a Lamborghini or a, 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 a Corvette or I'm not picking on anybody. I'm not even thinking about anybody. I'm just saying you guys that have nine to fives that wish you had something different, please, by all means, be thankful. Stop looking for, and I've been posting this on my Instagram, stop looking for what's wrong and be thankful for what's right. You guys have a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed this video at first with the fire. It's beautiful, beautiful fire, okay? And I also want to warn you guys, if you're burning, especially if you have a burn ban, don't. And if you, do have a, if you don't have a burn ban and the grass is dry, water it around for a good 10, 20, 30 minutes, just like I did. And I had the fire hose right there waiting, uh, and I, the ground was soaking wet. I mean, I was walking in mud every time I went up to the pit. And I had to cut down uh, some trees, and I burned them, and it was a great time. Average, regular stuff, it's okay to be that guy. That's who I am. But I like to train with intensity, too. Till next time, Intensity Rules Train Hardcore. Check the links in the description box for specials, sales, links to different channels, and all that good stuff. And we'll see you next video.